Hi everyone, it's John Eugenics Grandpa here, and today I am reviewing Starlots from Light Raider Academy. So I am a fan of the Dragon Raid mythos, if you will. I when I first became uh, a Christian when I was 15 years old, I was into Dungeons and Dragons, and my youth group played Dragon Raid. Yes, I, I have an original box set. Um, it's <clears throat> it's missing some 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 things, but I bought it used, and it was missing some things. A and we played a modified version of of this game, of this adventure learning system, because a number of us like Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, and but we also liked the memory, the scripture memorization that went with Dragon Raid. So I played that for a number of years, and they showed up um, a few years ago and started selling products. So I've purchased their card game, and this is Starlot, and it's four games in one. The way they describe it is that it can be played cooperatively or competitively. It's designed to bring families together. And it offers a bunch of different games in a very compact and affordable format. In fact, you can incorporate First Watch into the Starlots game. So if you own both, you can use them together. So let's talk about this animal and what you get. I've done an unboxing already, but I want to spend a little time with the components here. First, let's talk about the the game board or the game mat. Uh, this is a micro like a microfiber game mat. It's got the edges are nice and sewn up. They look great. The color is great on this. It's two sided. Um, you can play multiple games. You can play three games on this side, two of which are, are very similar, and then you can play another game on this side. I have played three of the four games. I am working through a solo play of the fourth one. So another thing that I'm really impressed with is the rule book. It is full color. And each game is explained in it, and as, as well as a number of the kind of options that you can use in the game as well. Each game doesn't need to be played in, uh, in the same way. There's two games that are very, very similar. Those are Goblins at the Gate and Zigzag Dragon. We found at, when we played it as a family that we modified some of the rules you know, you know how it goes. You're playing, you don't like a rule, so you modify it. Anyone who's into board games does that quite a bit. Zorpal Thumper, which is a word-making game, we had a lot of fun with that. Um, one of the fun things that, that we did was we would exchange each other's cards to see if one of us could get a better score than the other person did. So that was a fun little modification that we did. And I haven't played Light Raider Adventure yet. Like I said, I'm working through a, a solo play because it can be played cooperatively. So I'm working through that. And I'm actually hoping to uh, put together a, just a short video showing, showing some of the gameplay on that. I'm really impressed with all the game pieces that you get. Uh, you get this card here that has for Zorpal Thumper for... for doing your letters and you get these game pieces of course you've got you've got your star lots that you get which i think they do a great job they're they're beautiful i love the colors that you get with the the star lots or the the ten sided dice if you will and uh this one is actually my favorite i love the purple um you get these individual uh player tokens that come with them, each of them an individual color. These are very well made, high quality tokens. Here we'll show you the purple one there. It's probably not going to focus. These are very high quality. I got uh, an extra bonus set that has uh, bronzed ones. I haven't opened them up yet, but I, I like the way those look as well. 
And then you get a box of cards that go with the um, Light Raider game. This is the card box with your... You have player cards, and then there are markers for keeping track of your health on the card. Whoops. <laughs> right there. Um, and then and then you have the, the cards that you actually use in the gameplay, which again, beautifully illustrated, I think. Uh, they're well-made cards, and I really, really like them a lot. And then for all your game pieces, you get this little, this little cute little drawstring bag that has the Starlots logo on one side and the Light Raider Academy on the other side. Gameplay for the the Three of the games is, is very simple, super simple, goes really fast. You can play a game set in probably 10 minutes. And so you can get a lot of rounds in and you can add, again, like I said, you can add your own house rules if you want to. I think, like I said, I think every, every uh, board game fan has house rules. I remember the first house rules I ever played with had to do with Monopoly. You're going to find that you have some house rules here that, that you may want to implement yourself as well. I'm really looking forward to finishing up my solo play of Light Raider Adventure. I'm not going to incorporate the script the first watch cards initially because I want to get to kind of learn the game in, in its basic mode. But I think for $40, and that's how much the game is, it's $39.99, you get four games in one, I think it's a great value. This is something that you can pull out one small box like this, and you can play four games on a game night. And that's just, to me, uh, it's a great value, and it's a great way to just spend a night with the family and play some fun games. So, Starlots, the game. I give this, you know, hey, two thumbs up. Uh, I hope that you'll check it out. And I want to say thanks to the creators for making such a fun game. My name is John Eugenics Grandpa. And if you enjoy reviews like this, hey, give this video a like and subscribe so that you know when the next one comes out. Hit that notification bell. You get an email or something or a ding on your phone that'll let you know when a review like that comes out. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.